Hello everyone, welcome back to another video from Shomus Biology. In this video, we are going to talk about fundamental niche versus realized niche. Another concept from ecology and environment biology. And ecology, this is particularly a concept, niche concept. So in order to understand the difference between fundamental niche and realized niche, you should know what niche is. There are multiple definitions you might find like niche is a you know a functional role an organism plays in an ecosystem but in very simple terms i can tell you niche is habitat plus uh, the you know the behavior of that organism okay so basically what i can say is that a niche composed of the habitat where the organism lives what that organism eats what eats that organism and the behavior of that organism so these are the four component that produces niche for any organism and in ecosystem we know one thing for sure is that whenever two organisms are fighting for a same niche it's not possible for two organisms to coexist in the same niche they will always fight for the niche although two organisms can stay in same habitat but they should not stay in same niche let's say habitat is a look it's, it's a physical space where the organism lives right two organisms are living in the habitat there might be competition you know but ultimately they will decide to one to live in one place the other to live in any other place of that same habitat in fragment so habitat fragmentation and all this can be done now if their food behavior is different then their niche are not same they're living in the same geographical area but their food habits are different their niche is different they're living in the same habitat food habit food behavior is also same they're eating the same food but they graze at different times one at the morning one at the night so their behaviors are different so again they will not occupy the same niche so niche is not a physical space okay it's a functional concept not a physical concept habitat is a physical con uh, concept you can see that this is a place physically you can see you can mark this is a physical content habitat is a physical content but in this case niche is not a physical space it is a uh, functional space of their organism once you clear this understanding of niche and habitat now let's come to the difference between fundamental and realized niche fundamental the concept fundamental whenever you see the term fundamental quote unquote fundamental means whatever it's supposed to get means when in ideal conditions in ideal conditions an organism is going to get xyz these parameters and when you get these parameters, then this is the niche that organism should belong to. That niche is known as fundamental niche. While a realized niche is a reality of the environmental parameters that the organism is going through. So fundamental niche is theoretically possible. A realized niche is a practical aspect of that niche. Clear? So generally the fundamental niche is a broader aspect of the niche. Realized niche is apart from the fundamental niche. So let's start talking about it. The definition for fundamental niche, theoretical ecological niche that a species could occupy in the absence of competition and other limiting factors. So that's why I told you it's a theory only because obviously in an ecosystem there would be competition for biotic factors for eating for their food as their food and abiotic factor changes also impact the growth of organism. So that's why the fundamental niche is the, the, the niche where an organism can live if there is no competition and if all the limiting factors of the environment are in favor of it, which is not always the truth, never the truth. This is only theory. Realized niche is the actual ecological niche that a species occupies in a given ecosystem considering the competition and limiting factors. Clear? That is the definition. Second thing, concept. Fundamental niche represents the full range of environmental conditions it represents the full range of environmental conditions and resources a species can potentially utilize that is the fundamental niche the full range of environmental conditions and resources a species can potentially utilize everything every single resources the maximum range of potential of resources uh, a species can utilize that is its niche but in realized niche, it represents a sub subset of conditions and resources a specific effectively used due to the competition, predation and other biotic and abiotic factors. So we know that there are biotic and abiotic factors. There are competition between other organisms in that same habitat. There are habitat uh, 
the common habitat issues to fix that they have fight and competition predation all these things the involvement of all these things due to the involvement of all these things there is always less amount of niche less amount of physical area that is available and less niche available for that same species okay range theoretically fundamental niche obviously fundamental niche where you it can where it can live is broader right it's broader so fundamental niche is broader and may encompass a wider range of conditions or resources while realized niche is narrower where it actually lives where it actually lives so it's narrower than fundamental niche constricted by interactions with other species obviously there are other species into it there is niche dual due to that the niche broad the range become narrowed abiotic factors now this is another very important thing that the fundamental niche are defined by abiotic factors such as temperature humidity light and nutrient availability so these abiotic factors matter a lot in regulating the fundamental niche because we know there is no competition so there is no biotic factors in interaction but in realized niche we need to take abiotic factors and biotic factors both into consideration obviously abiotic factors are important but there will be interaction from other species so biotic factors are also playing important role so biotic interactions are not present in a fundamental niche concept but biotic interactions matters a lot in a realized niche concept competition impact what is the impact of the competition in fundamental niche assumes no competition for resources and therefore may overestimate a species potential to range no competition for resources that is fundamental niche while realized niche accounts for competition which can lead to narrower niche compared to the fundamental niche obviously again the same concept the niche is broader in case of fundamental niche and it is only related to abiotic factors but in realized niche what happens it is related to abiotic and biotic both factors together okay ecological tolerance fundamental niche represents the maximum ecological tolerance of a species for various environmental factors because only the abiotic factors matter in case of fundamental niche so maximum ecological tolerance of a species is found in a uh, fundamental niche but in case of realized niche the ecological tolerance within the constraints of interactions with other species and environmental conditions are present and only the environmental parameters are not the limiting factors the biotic factors are in place it reflects the ecological tolerance within constraints of interactions with other species so whenever we are talking about realized niche it is not how that organism is going to survive in this temperature or that salinity or that rainfall no along with that always we need to think how come this xyz species can survive in presence of a b c d species always we need to take consideration of the other species presence and abundance illustrative example one example you can say a desert plant species that could potentially thrive in a wide range of temperatures and soil type that is one example of fundamental niche so in a in a desert environment it's a desert plant so it can manage to survive in low water no problem so once the limiting factor water availability is fixed that particular desert plant can thrive throughout the desert but now imagine how to introduce realized species concept realized niche concept the same desert plant species may only be found in specific micro habitats within the desert due to the competition of other plant species and limited water availability i told you that the abiotic limiting factor is the water availability and again throughout the desert there are some places where the water availability is more there are some places where it is more scarce so the places of scarce uh, water availability there will be less growth of the plants and more growth where the little bit of water is present along with that there are other plant species with which it's competing so they are competing with this other uh, plant species and due to that nature 
that plant species although it can survive throughout the desert but still due to the presence of other plant species the growth of this plant species may be restricted to one or two little areas of the desert that is the realized niche and this whole world whatever plant growth you can see in different places they are in clusters and all okay uh, so you see these are all realized niche we are all living in our realized niches we don't uh, just because we don't just follow our fundamental niche we have a bigger fundamental niche a broader range of our fundamental niche but we are protected we are, we are blocked we are tied by our abiotic factors abiotic limiting factors and the presence of other competitors nearby that is the major difference between fundamental niche and realize niche i believe you have a clear idea now if you like this video please hit the like button share this video with your friends and follow this channel because it's going to be csrnet gold mine for you thank you bye